Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another episode of Red Carpet Stories on Neelam Saxena page. This is your host, Dr. Purnima Kulkarni, and today we have with us the lady, Neelam Saxena Chandra, who happens to be an award-winning author of India, and it's a matter of great pride. चलिए कुछ चंग पंक्तियां आपके लिए हो जाए देश के लिए हो जाए एमतन एमतन हमको तेरी कसम तेरी नाहो में जा तक लुटा जाएंगे फूल क्या चीज है तेरे कदमों पे हम भेट अपने सरों की चढ़ा जाएंगे ए वतन ए वतन जी हाँ कैफी आजमी साहब ने क्या खूब कहा है कट गए सर हमारे कोई गम नहीं कट गए सर हमारे कोई गम नहीं सर हिमालय का हमने न झुकने दिया मरते मरते रहा बाकपन साथियों अब तुम्हारे हवाले वतन साथियों अब तुम्हारे हवाले वतन साथियों नीलम दीदी मैं आपसे सबसे पहला सवाल ये पूछना चाहूंगी कि जब 15 अगस्त आता है या जब 26 जनवरी आता है तब देशभक्ति के गाने हर जगह शुरू हो जाते हैं वी सिंग सो मेनी यू नो सॉन्ग्स एंड वी हॉइस द नेशनल फ्लैग बहुत कुछ होता है नेशनल डेज पर लेकिन बाकी दिनों क्या हम अपने देश को भूल जाते हैं इसका क्या कारण है तुम सही कह रही हो पूर्णी शायद हम लोग को ये बातें सिर्फ इन दोनों दिनों ही याद आती हैं और आ, बाकी दिन हम इनको कहीं कुछ मिसिंग है कुछ मिसिंग है हालांकि ये भी बात सही है कि अभी जब आ, हमारे देश पे कोई भी मुश्किल आती है तब हम बहुत एकजुट हो जाते हैं जैसे कारगिल वॉर हुआ या कोई और टेररिस्ट अटैक हुए या इनफैक्ट इवन अभी जब पेंडेमिक हुआ यस नहीं और पेंडेमिक भी जब हुआ शुरू तो कुछ लोग तो ठीक है बहुत दूरी और ये और वो करने लगे बट कितने लोगों ने मदद की है कितने डॉक्टर्स ने अपनी जिंदगी सेक्रीफाइस की है कितने वॉलंटियर्स ने अपनी जिंदगी सेक्रीफाइस की है कितने सफाई वालों ने कितने पैरामेडिक वर्कर्स ने तो ऐसा नहीं है कि हमें वो भावना नहीं है भावना तो जरूर है बट सम समथिंग इज लैकिंग यू नो यू नो यू आर नॉट वेरी प्राउड टू बी कॉल्ड एन इंडियन विच वी शुड बी एंड आई एम वेरी प्राउड टू बी एन इंडियन Yes, we are proud to hold Indian passports, and we are proud to be Indians, and we are proud to have an Indian author like you. ये आपका ही पेज है, लेकिन पहली बार हमने आपको red carpet stories पे आमंत्रित किया है, and we have so many viewers here, my dear viewers, my namaskars to you, and uh, happy Independence Day. मेरा भी नमस्कार. काफी सारे व्यूअर्स आ गए हैं और काफी खुश नजर आ रहे हैं ऑन सेवेंटी फिफ्थ इंडिपेंडेंस डे इट वॉज जेम्स चाक रूसो हु सेड मैन इज बॉर्न फ्री बट एवरी वेयर इन चेंज वेल independence is not about a country being independent we also need to make our minds independent we have to liberate our minds aur akshay kumar ne toilet ek prem katha mein kya khoob kaha hai desh ki soch ko badalna sabse mahatvapurn baat hai so uh, neelam didi aap kya kehti hain aapko kya lagta hai is desh ki soch hum kaise badal sakte hain kis tarah se badal sakte hain देखिये मुझे तो अभी अक्षय कुमार की मूवी तो बहुत बाद में आई परंतु मेरे पैदा होने से पहले रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर ने लिखा था वेदर माइंड इज विदाउट माइंड इज विदाउट जी तो जिस दिन हम सर ऊंचा करके शान से रह सकेंगे और हमारे फ्रीडम रहेगा हमारे थॉट्स का हमारे वुमेन को या जो भी ऑपरेस सप्रेस फील करते हैं सभी को जब एक फ्रीडम रहेगा सोचने का कि उनको कहाँ जाना है किस ओर बढ़ना है और क्या वो करना चाहते हैं तो उस दिन असली फ्रीडम होगा और हम जकड़े हुए नहीं बचेंगे एंड वील एंजॉय बीइंग लिबरेटेड एंड वील बी एबल टू फ्लाई लाइक फ्री बर्ड 
Absolutely, absolutely. Because, you know, we don't believe in curtailing people's liberties. Love is all about when we love someone, when we love our country, when we love our dear ones, you know, we believe in giving them space. We live. We believe in giving them that breathing space. We don't want to, you know, trample upon their liberty. So yes, ye jo apne kaha Rabindranath Tagore. By the way, dear viewers, you know, Neelam Didi just quoted a few lines from Tagore's Gitanjali, where mind is without fear and head is hell high. Beautiful lines, and she is herself a recipient of Rabindranath Tagore International. Uh, you know, she won a literary prize, and I think Kerala, the state of Kerala, honored her with Rabindranath Tagore Literary Prize. So, how does it feel to be associated with a nationalist like you know Tagore, Rabindranath Tagore? It's my honor. You know, uh, they are like uh, stars shining in the sky. we are just uh, immortals uh, they are uh, rather they are immortal and we are mortals walking on human being uh, on the uh, earth and unki jagah to hum log kabhi le nahi sakte parantu unke naam ke sath bhi associate ho ke hame jo khushi milti hai that is unsurpassable Yes, that is unsurpassable. You're absolutely right, and you know we all remember that you know when uh, during the Jallianwala Bagh massacre, uh, Rabindranath Tagore was so pained that he renounced his knighthood. He, you know, told the British that I do not want your title. If my countrymen are not going to be treated with respect, if they are going to be traumatized like this, I don't want your title. And that is what is called, you know, placing your feet firmly on the earth. After all, we have to, you know, walk on the earth. Humans don't have the ability to fly. so you know <laughs> this is something <laughs> so this is something that you know we must learn from you because you've always kept yourself so unassuming so untainted and so simple and down to earth despite so many accomplishments and achievements so when your uh, name is associated with you know the country and when your poster is made with the national flag how does it feel neelam didi <laughs> it feels amazing uh, it feels amazing but i'm not really sure if i deserve so much i'm just happy you know writing is my journey and i'm enjoying this journey or uh, if i get some awards or recognition it's fine if not i'll still keep walking and enjoy the shades of trees the wow. blooms on the way the sky everything i'll be enjoying the travelers who will join me like you and me hum dono yes. musafir hai aur saath saath chal rahe hain so i enjoy <laughs> that journey and i'm very fine with it lovely kya baat hai kitna khoobsurat uttar diya hai neelam didi ne is baat ka you know this reminds me of you know william wordsworth's uh, solitary reaper when you know wordsworth was passing by and listening to the you know mellifluous song of the reaper he did not know whether she was singing in a gaelic dialect she was he was not familiar with the dialect in which she was singing but the music in his heart he bore long after it was heard no more it is khoobsurat baat hai so you know when uh, we read when i read splinters of uh, you know broken mirror i think you know you made me howl you made me cry but i was so happy to know that all the poems you know ended on a note of reconciliation you know they ended on an optimistic note but uh, you know why such a, a negative title why splinters of a broken mirror is, is there any reason behind it yeah because uh, you know <laughs> these poems were written during uh, the pandemic times the lockdown times when i was uh, all alone and yes. uh, some initially uh, there was so much of fear all around uh, yes. so and uh, like uh, but when i used to walk in my garden uh, in the lap of nature i used to feel ki why are we so fearful uh, i used to look at nature are manas bothered about this is the eagle bothered about this uh, is the madhumalti that sways to and forth bothered about this no why 
because uh, mm. they've unbounded it uh, themselves some way and uh, yes. i also found my uh, solace uh, in the lap of nature and uh, mm-hmm. you know in uh, my house has so many birds and trees and creepers that they simply enjoy so uh, you know um, uh, so the, uh, my poems were a combination of both like the fearfulness which was there rampant uh, all around yes. and the soulless which was finding a place in my heart somehow i don't know why it shouldn't have i should have have also been very edgy very nervous but i wasn't so uh, because i was finding some happiness somewhere so this poem uh, these poems are all about it how i find happiness despite so many uh, so many difficulties all around and you know oh, i used yes. to some, sometimes see people suffering but i still used to feel ki no there is a way out this is a difficulty but it will pass so Correct. those uh, thoughts gave re- rose to these poems absolutely and as you know shelly rightly says if winter comes can spring be far behind so you sought solace in nature and it had a cathartic effect on you and uh, during the pandemic especially all of us you know sought solace in poetry and uh, all of our poetry uh, did uh, you know release our pent up emotions so it it was a beautiful phase and one of your lines was even poetry loved me back which was beautiful it touched me so much you loved poetry and poetry loved you back even poetry reciprocated your love which was you know which really touched my my soul um well do you think the pandemic has been the most secular of all beings because it hasn't spared any nation it hasn't spared anyone i think you know we must learn this from the pandemic it has treated everyone equally <laughs> what is your opinion <laughs> neelam didi <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's called you know it has had a devastating uh, ne- uh, effect all over the world uh, but yes it has shown us that we should cross the boundaries of religion yeah. race caste everything whatever uh, boundaries are there we should cross all those boundaries and stick together because in that lies the happiness of mankind as a whole correct absolutely very well said very well said beautiful so a uh, which poem uh, from you know splinters of you know broken mirror could be dedicated to women and you know could be dedicated to the countrymen you know what is your you know which poem would you choose from your latest uh, collection or from there's a poem there's the skylines there are soul seekers and you know there's so much that i read you know during uh, this week before interviewing you especially i read your literature before that but before interviewing you i didn't want to sound repetitive so i was like oh this is your latest book and it it means uh, you know so much uh, to me uh, because especially because you've dedicated it to your daughter and you also mentioned you specifically mentioned that your daughter helped you discover your inner strength your inner being so i would like to know more about it and then we could also have a you know recitation maybe you know uh, this was the period uh, when my daughter just returned home after completing her uh, mbbs and okay. she was doing internship till uh, till she was doing her mbbs she was staying in hostel and she returned Houston, home in Texas in, during mbbs oh okay 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 all right so she returned home and she returned home on the 1st of march and this pandemic started from around mid of march and yeah. uh, we were <laughs> both together at home during that period and uh, you know since we both had nothing else to do we both bonded like uh, uh, you know in a different manner till the time she had left the nest of the uh, till my you can say my nest she yeah, was yeah. Uh, you know just a kid but crow's and... nest baby baby bird left her mother crow's nest <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so i always used to treat her like a kid till then yes. but when she returned 
she had bloomed into a beautiful pretty lady and uh, with whom i could share my innermost thoughts and we both bonded like uh, you know house on fire it was a different kind of bonding <laughs> and uh, uh, miss there were some thoughts in my mind uh, but when i would discuss with them i would uh, i would find the reflections in her and then we both would laugh over it so that is how uh, during this period i found this uh, strength and she has been a big support to me in my life's journey how sweet and you know you must have got this feeling oh my bachcha has grown up you know i used to treat her like a kid but now you know probably she is being my amma <laughs> she is, she is you know mentoring me and all of that you know sometimes you know daughters do that especially when they grow up you know if she must be your bosom your friend you know? your mother <laughs> you are due to our mother yes exactly <laughs> exactly and my mother and so many okay i will give up my vanity and you know um or, oh uh, mr nasir mohammed has sent his phone number okay we'll call you later and uh, we've got some uh, lovely messages you know uh, good morning babu lal okay we could uh, you know handle this later all right so nilam didi please tell me <clears throat> what's uh, to be done now are you going to you know read one of your poems from you know splinters of broken mirror and then you know i'm also going to comment on you know some of your poems so let's have you know uh, uh, one dedication to women i think uh, we need to look at the status of women in indian society are we empowered are we emancipated or you know we still need to you know empower women in rural areas with slogans like beti bachao beti padhao and you know uh, there is the in rural india the situation is still deplorable and pathetic and uh, you know there is a poem which i specifically want you to read here it's a, it's probably the last poem and you say that lakshmi okay. ke bare mein lakshmi and saraswati yeah, you know yeah, that yeah. Poem, saraswati, you know, saraswati. Saraswati. saraswati is so oh, important uh, yeah yeah okay. so if we if you could it. read that poem for me yeah <laughs> okay okay i'll read that <laughs> the growing up of a granddaughter hey what's cooking i'm cooking some laddus to welcome my granddaughter in this world i'll distribute them among kith and kin she will come and light the milieu she is goddess lakshmi they say mm-hmm. i deserve the grandson for all the good that i have done but i feel that she will sparkle and glimmer the whole planet with the knowledge i have named her saraswati va wow. hey <laughs> what is cooking i am cooking some masala dosa my saraswati is going to school today for the first time in my house no girl has ever been educated before but i want her to fly i don't want her to follow me or my daughter in law school steps just remaining a shadow of someone my husband and son are furious today but tomorrow they shall understand the importance of knowledge and learning i want her to comprehend hey what's cooking i'm cooking some idli sambar My Saraswati is going for a professional education today. Oh wow! Her thoughts are having a wing. Her spirits have a zing. I bless her that it that she may keep flying. Hey, what's cooking? I'm cooking some pie some today. My Saraswati is getting married. I have groom is the most handsome man in the world. My eyes have tears. as i watch her leave her abode me she be the happiest woman on the earth hey what's cooking what's cooking i'm not cooking wow. anything today i'm not cooking anything today saraswati's husband turned out to be a wolf in sheep's clothing he sent her back his parents were not satisfied with the dowry given by us don't know what to do hey what's cooking and saraswati i'm cooking some pedas i may have thrown i may have been thrown out by my hubby and my in-laws but i am a happy woman today i do not want to go back there i want to tell my dear granny what a visionary she was she made me what i am today 
I do not need the and the arms of a man to lead me everywhere. If he did love me, he will come back. Otherwise, he did not deserve me, and I am happy to live alone, armed with my weapon of knowledge and learning. Thank you. Kya baat hai? Kya baat hai? This is probably the most powerful poem from Neelam Saxena Chandra's latest anthology, Splinters of a Broken Mirror. how rightly she has how aptly she has uh, you know penned these lines on the one hand a woman is labeled as a lakshmi as a saraswati and on the other hand you know she doesn't have right to education she is deprived of so many things dowry system female infanticide feticide so many issues and yes this uh, you know we dedicate this poem to all the women who have a desire to learn and who have a desire to earn and i think you know this is the best way to celebrate independence day uh, all the women need to be liberated and this li and this liberation will happen only when population of india becomes its strength rather than its weakness uh, neelam didi we read wings of fire you know apj abdul kalam's autobiography wings of fire a beautiful book in which he said that population of india is not its you uh, know weakness it is india's strength especially during the pandemic also we saw that if we come together we can move mountains so do you think this particular poem of yours if it is prescribed in schools and colleges you know it it will definitely leave an indelible impact on everyone's mind and you know do you think uh, you know it's likely to revolutionize the society yes i suppose because as you said it has several layers i've tried to uh, touch the various topics uh, yes. uh, or Social rather issues. the issues which yes. which our country is facing and uh, i've uh, just like you compared it with lakshmi saraswati that's what i wanted to bring out and i'm so happy that uh, you were able to pick it up so well i think uh, your poetic mind made you pick it up and i woven it uh, woven it through a story so that uh, you yes. know people get connected better mm, absolutely so. yes <laughs> they are able to read between the lines rather because what's cooking there is a pun upon that you know because in every yeah. time a woman is told that kitchen is your rightful domain khana banaya kya but mm. here you're asking what's cooking kya ho raha hai <laughs> <laughs> that, that is so powerful sometimes you know the, as a poet you may not realize uh, you know you just write you know with a spontaneous overflow of emotions but then you know that particular line you know it just you know strikes the right chord and it just you know touches your soul and you know you just nail it so i think you know it was a beautiful cherry on the cake this particular poem and i'm glad this was the last poem of the you know anthology and this was a cherry on the cake so beautiful i noted down I one line <laughs> i purposely kept it at the end so that yes. people you know uh, generally like as a reader i read the yes. first four five poems and the last poem and decide whether i want to read this yeah, yeah, or not yeah yeah why yes yes <laughs> whether it's worthy absolutely yes uh, renu ji has joined us okay hello renu ji all right uh, rani trivedi ji okay anu and agnihotri ji has joined us happy independence day everyone dear viewers i can see that excitement the hearts and roses and we absolutely love all that so uh, neelam didi i noted down one particular line and you know i'm sure the viewers would enjoy it. i badly wish to wear that blood red sari nicely tucked in the shelf of my godrej cupboard you know it I absolutely loved it. It was so powerful. You know, Godrej, Godrej. You know, you probably, you know, if, I'm sure the industry will be very happy because आजकल ऐसा हो रहा है कि even the proper nouns have become so common when it comes to cupboard. You know, we can only think of Godrej. It's like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. आपको कोई specific अलमारी याद आ गई थी मतलब वो लिखते समय कि oh, I mean, it, it's so powerful that. line because mere samne wo saadi rakhi hui godrej ke cupboard mein ek saadi acche se matlab teh ki hui rakhi hui mere samne aa rahi thi because your imagery is so powerful 
so you know did you have some such cupboard you know in the subconscious mind somewhere yeah i had that red sari also in that cupboard and uh, but uh, uh, the you refused to wear, wear sari you refused to wear no. saris and you want to wear that specific sari <laughs> that specific sari <laughs> <laughs> yeah nowadays i don't like wearing sarees too much but i do have mm-hmm. a lot of them so that uh-huh. uh, you know while i was trying to uh, denote that one should uh, never think that you grown old or uh, you can still have dreams because i remember a writer she started writing at the age of 60 or 70 so oh, yes. uh, there's no oh, yes. age for anything and she became very famous so there's no age to anything so i just wanted to say that and uh, while that thought was just coming in the mind that red sari struck me and uh, i wrote this poem <laughs> how lovely sometimes you know you don't realize uh, uh, i was thinking about the millennial generation you know people who were born after 2000 whether they would be able to you know relate to gothrej cupboard and the typical antenna and the doordarshan that you know we would watch etc because every, so many things are alien to you know this generation so i was wondering oh you know I'm, i'm i'm sure they would definitely find out what this cupboard looks like and you know what this you know the sari bangle sellers i think sarojini naidu must not have realized that her bangle sellers would you know become such a popular poem because you know so many tints and so many hues one sari and one bangle i mean it can do so much i think renu didi renu mishra um a dr renu mishra you know put up one of you know her poems on bangles you know several you know multi shades you know multi hued bangles and you know it takes you to the rainbows it takes you to the colors in nature i mean imagery of a poem is so powerful so uh, when you write poems do you think you know that your poems should be replete with uh, vivid imagery how do you uh, you know pen poems you know do you is imagery important to you yeah it's very important to me because uh, otherwise they are simple words and yes, simple absolutely. words uh, uh, you know it is very difficult to relate with simple words and if you have imagery in them you will not forget the poems you just remember the poems that you remember so well like you just mentioned about uh, solitary reaper why do you remember it so well because the of the of the imagery that uh, he created those golden defo- uh, golden flowers and uh, yes, yes. lady singing a song so you can't forget those things so for me imagery is very important and most of my poems are based on some or the other imagery unless they are straight forward Yes yes and i'm just going to you know read read it out you know for our viewers because so many of your fans have joined us and you know they would want me to you know read uh, what you have written with my body washed in darkness i have walked through the thorns and barbs with blood oozing from every being it starts on a negative note um you know i i think neelam deedi must have been in a melancholy mood when she started writing but then she ends it so beautifully and she says that you know we can metamorphose into a sun so beautiful because you know it's 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 a it's a great idea to begin a poem on an optimistic note and to end the poem on a um uh, uh, sorry to start the poem to begin the poem on a pessimistic note and to end it on an optimistic note we can metamorphose into suns do you think this is possible is it possible to metamorphose into suns neelam didi do we have the power of 1000 oh. suns <laughs> is it possible of course of course we do have the power of thousands splendid suns and why thousands millions billions zillions you know we have immense power within us the only problem is <laughs> the only problem is we don't realize those suns uh, and we don't know that those suns are inside our soul because they are so deeply embedded and you just have to beckon them call them summon them and once you yeah. summon them there's a, a no end to it and uh, as i said you can soar and rise high in the sky once you uh, 
uh, understand those sounds and you realize that you have those sounds in your heart but it's so important to realize uh, if we realize and i think if the society realizes this we won't have suicide cases in india see when you read poetry what makes you pick up an anthology of poems a lot of people you know a lot of poets you know write you know with a lot of negativity kuch ye poetry ki books bikhti nahi hai you know this anthology who reads them but in actuality if a person has you know a gone in depression or is facing turbulent times i think when you pick up an anthology of poems it gives you so much of inner strength it gives you so much of you know power and i think that's what splinters of broken mirror is going to do that to you if you really really like poems and if you have an avid interest in poetry please buy splinters of you know broken mirror i think it's available on amazon flipkart everyone i'm not saying this because it's my soul sister's book i'm saying this because uh, because i read it you know three times myself and i i think i can you know uh, read it again and again because each poem is so powerful and another poem that touched my soul is the venom it was okay. shelly uh, who who uh, it was shelly who said um oh lift me as a wave a leaf a cloud i fall upon the thorns of life i bleed and i think today i would like to compare uh, the author of india the author of independent india neelam saxena chandra to my um, all time favorite uh, poet pb shelley who wrote these lines oh lift me as a wave a leaf a cloud i don't think i can give her awards but i can definitely give her this reward by comparing her to you know pb shelley because the passion emotion poignancy everything is so powerful about splinters of a broken mirror and i think uh, you know when you talk about inner strength you also mentioned uh, you know i think when i read the introductory note uh, neelam didi you specifically mentioned that you were a very shy kid you know somewhat like emily dickinson you would write a diary and uh, many of our viewers i think uh, would not know that you were a private poetess you were an unpublished poetess and you did not know that one fine day you are going to you know be a celebrity author etc um so how did that happen how did you overcome that coyness how did you overcome that shyness and when did you think oh, oh okay i need to get this published now <laughs> see there are two <laughs> things you know when the personality undergoes a change uh, the remain the remaining things follow sometimes it may take months sometimes it may take years so till yes. i was in my school and when in my junior college i was a very shy and introvert girl who would rarely speak to anyone i would only answer <laughs> questions which the teachers would be asking so i would be teacher's pet if you remember that poem teacher's pet is that you yes 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 so i would be that kind of girl <laughs> 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 teachers pet is that you yes. uh, <laughs> correct correct so i was with the transformation uh, like that hmm uh, but uh, i was very focused you know while i was very quiet i was very focused and since i used to love literature i would as well as maths and physics like literature yes, as well as science that. and maths were my favorite <laughs> which is very yeah. rare which is very rare <laughs> yeah 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 so since i would be reading uh, autobiographies of famous scientists uh, like uh, i read about curie i read about abraham lincoln i read uh, sorry newton i read about uh, so many scientists uh, and i felt that it is possible to achieve what i want otherwise i used to think you no know, it's not possible so literature huh. gave me those wings which i would be spreading later so until that time i was very silent because my goal was to get admission into an engineering college so once i achieved that and i entered the engineering college i got uh, uh, wonderful friends uh, who taught me all the naughtiness and i was very <laughs> naughty <girl. laughs> my hard to college. believe hard to believe 
<laughs> By the way, let you me tell live. the viewers that uh, your favorite author has been, uh, you know, student of Vishveshwaraya Regional College of Engineering, which happens to be a prestigious college in Nagpur. And, you know, she's a product of that uh, institution. And I think, you know, your alma mater must be very proud today. I'm sure when they look back, you know, they, they would feel so proud. They would be 10 feet tall. I don't know if your teachers and if you're still in touch with your teachers, if you're still in touch with your, your um, batchmates, but I can say this with conviction that they must be very proud. <laughs> they must be very proud of that. Yeah, they are. They and, are. Said, and my colleague yes. uh, just before pandemic invited me for a, a special talk. Uh, before students oh, and there were seven to eight hundred students and uh, uh, I rendered my poetry and I said a few things so it was a very touching occasion for me. Lovely, lovely. And let me also share this with our viewers that uh, it's very rare for an engineering student to carve a niche for herself in the field of literature. Because, you know, when I look at, you know, my career, you know, I hold a PhD in literature, I've read imagery, I have read the technicalities of, you know, what in English literature is all about, etc. But for an engineering student, you know, to understand the depths and, you know, of, of, of the imagery of uh, poetry, the poignancy I think you know it makes me feel so proud so how how did that happen has it been spontaneous I think you're an effortless writer and you mostly write in you know free verse you don't believe in you know deliberately rhyming the first line with the second because sometimes it gets you know sometimes when you when we read poetry it sounds like oh is it a doggerel because deliberately people mm -hmm. try to you know rhyme the first line right. with the second of Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water mm -hmm. that kind of a thing but you never do that even in splinters you have not do that so has it always been your comfort zone no uh, it is it hasn't been like that Purnima. i started with rhyming and uh, mm -hmm. then subsequently i still write certain rhyming poems and uh, but you know it all depends upon my mood and there are certain poems which i feel uh, will convey convey better meaning if I don't rhyme them and that's Correct. where free verse comes in and uh, I've tried all forms and uh, you know to break rules you should know the rules uh, as I've said before in one of my interviews True. so I tried True. all forms of poetry and I finally uh, found that this suits me the best and then second Secondly, I'm not a poet of mind. I'm a poet of heart. So, Correct. you know, uh, I write emotions. I just sprinkle really? emotions, you can say. So, sprinkling is a very natural phenomenon. So, I don't have to think, 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 think. Because I know what I feel. <laughs> and I yes. just write what I feel. <laughs> so, it doesn't very difficult. Maybe the thoughts go on for days, but, you know, I've never taken more than five or ten minutes to write a poem. Yeah, I think, you know, we are living in an era of binge watching. So I think, you know, you are a binge writer. You, you are not you, you are a binge writer. Because, you know, one after the other, back to back, back to back. It's just like Radio Mirchi, you know, ek gaane sunye, back to back. Similarly, when it comes to, you know, Neelam Didi's books, it's like Red Diary and, you know, Splinters. You know, each and every book, you know, she, she doesn't take too long uh, to, you know, bring her book and, you know, introduce it to her viewers. You don't disappoint your viewers. There are many poets and authors to keep their viewers waiting for a very long time. Aap Qatar mein hai, okay. <laughs> but you don't disappoint them. You are a binge writer. See, I'm going to read one of these lines. Darkness pierces its claws. So, is me kuch mujhe supernatural element bhi nazar aaya. So, have you also experienced, you know, supernatural element in your life? You know, what's, is, there, is there any fascination with ghosts and uh, phantoms and supernatural figures? Not much, actually. Um, <laughs> I've never believed in them. Uh, but, uh -huh. you know, uh, when you want to bring in some strong emotions, they help you. Uh, that yes. imagery helps you. <laughs> You're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I see, did see. try my hands at one. 
I did try my hands at uh, horror stories uh, in one of my books. Uh-huh. So, um, okay. <laughs> so I have tried. Not that I haven't tried, uh, but um, but you want to endorse supernatural elements, like you know, believe in it. You know, you must believe in supernatural mm. element because I have naturalized the supernatural. So you you've never done that to the view. <laughs> You know, I'm going to read out one line. My spirits are in a continuous high, and this is what spirituality is. Again, very powerful. My spirits are in a continuous high, and this is what spirituality is. And I think you know, spirituality is definitely misinterpreted and misconstrued by people. So, if I, uh, you know, I would love to ask you this question: What is spirituality to you? What does it mean to you? she needs to drink water see yeah. uh, <laughs> it's over <laughs> see you know um, <laughs> when i was a little kid uh, i was uh, used to all ritualism like i would do okay. a, uh, do an aarti every day and uh, things like that till uh, maybe seventh standard or so then one fine day i real uh, i read that poem abu ben adam uh, ah, in that yes. poem you if you remember there's an angel light which comes to abu ben adam's room yes, and when yes. he asks that light what what it is doing uh, it's writing the name of people who uh, love god who the most who are the top most so, position uh, in god uh, list yeah <laughs> yeah 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 so that was that poem made me think so people who think that poems can't change you this poem changed me and that was the time mm-hmm. i realized that it is not these ritualistic things that matter in the long run and uh, uh, spirituality was to come later but i realized that uh, that time i started calling myself an atheist and i used to declare okay. very nicely that i am an atheist <laughs> so oh, okay. but subsequently okay. subsequently over years i realized that uh, in fact Uh, this something called soul and something called restlessness something called anxiety and these can be controlled uh, our thought earlier i used to feel thoughts just wander here and there but later i realized no these thoughts can be controlled and you can channelize them and channelize them uh, in such a manner that it radiates energy so oh, yes I, uh, You, you know if you meet certain people you'll find them to be so happy and uh, you know you feel uh, that you gain so much just by just being in their company so what is that and that's where i felt ki they are very you know spiritually at some higher plane uh, which makes us feel so happy and comfortable yes yeah. correct correct so you're absolutely so that right that started yes. my day so that started my journey my search my quest and um, i began reading philosophy and um, i'm still not very uh, not at all ritualistic if you ask me ki upvas kiya kya my answer will be no because i don't do Correct. it i've not done any upvas in my life uh, wo bachpan mein baat alag hai ki sabudane ke vade mil jate the isliye upvas kar lete the बिल्कुल सही कहा यू नो सम पीपल आर सेंसिटिव सम आर इंटेलिजेंट एंड सम आर एनलाइटन सोल्स एंड आई थिंक दैट सोल सर्च इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई थिंक यू नो वन ऑफ योर एंथोलॉजीज आई थिंक योर फर्स्ट बुक इज कॉल्ड सोल सीकर्स so you must have you know started your journey then you know you were just trying to discover trying to search your soul so uh, you know as uh, you said uh, you read a lot of philosophy so do you ever raise existential questions in your actual life because through poetry you have you know touched upon the philosophy of existentialism what is the purpose of our survival what is the objective you know behind my you know survival is there any meaning to my existence you've been raising a lot of you know existential questions through your poetry but then in actual life also are you contemplative do you ever you know uh, raise existential questions in your actual life i've been doing this ever since i was a kid 
<laughs> what an answer since the time you were a kid. that time you know at that time i didn't realize what i was thinking and why i was thinking so but these questions have been there maybe because i lost my sister when i was a young girl of four oh, and okay. uh, yeah i had a sister whom i lost uh, when i was four and she was three so uh, maybe that subconsciously stayed with me throughout and yes. uh, then i lost you my father you saw that from close quarters yeah 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 so mm. and i lost my father also at an early stage uh, he was mm. 52 when i lost him so okay. uh, those questions might have always been there subconsciously but uh, it's now that i am trying to find answers to them and uh, seeking it my own way and as you say that uh, writing is also cathartic it is also meditative so while writing i am meditating in a way i am just focusing writing my thought writing and meditating lovely lovely <laughs> <laughs> and i think i think a lot of people you know a lot of poets talk about spring but uh, you know autumn has its own beauty and you've touched upon autumn in your in a poem which also you know touched me because when it comes to spring you know you have skylarks and cuckoo birds and you know everything is so you know cheerful around you but when it comes to autumn you can you know say it's a season of you know fr- mellow fruitfulness as keith says a bosom friend of maturing sun and then insects uh, you know come out in uh, you know this season of autumn and you've beautifully compared autumn and winter so uh ye jo seasons hai you know when we talk about seasons of life i've, I've heard a lot of people who uh, tell us humko badalna nahi hai we don't want to change you know you need to accept us the way you know we are but agar ritu bhi apna matlab uh, ye khuliya badalte rehti hai when seasons change who are you and i why can't we you know change for the better what what is your opinion about this metamorphosis yes uh, you said very correctly when uh, seasons also change when weather also changes when everything around us changes like you may see a barren tree today uh, having uh, leaves tomorrow like uh, yeah. once uh, i just saw a tree which was cut so much that nobody could think that uh, it, it will have leaves again but you know uh, the very next year i saw uh, it having uh, a few branches and then leaves and the year after that it started blooming so you know everything changes so if you are ready for change it is always better because then you can do wonders if you think no i'll never change uh, then uh, you are in your own web uh, through which it will Absolutely. be very difficult to come out yes yes true very true and uh, you know let me tell the viewers that uh, you know our neelam didi has written a poem called gray now uh, according to me people are e- you know neither black nor white they are gray i think all of us are uh, you know gray we have a negative side and we have a positive side uh, there was a time in 60s and 70s when we would have amitabh bachchan as angry young man and he would you know just uh, uh, you know uh, beat up these pack of ruffians you know black and blue so he was completely white and the villain was completely black and then we had 90s and you know the millennial generation wherein even the heroes were getting were playing negative roles so in poetry also when we portray certain characters i think we are portraying gray characters we are not portraying anyone as completely white or completely black because these are not watertight compartments as such so uh, do colors play a pivotal role in poetry because every color has a negative and positive connotation neelam didi so uh, do colors play a pivotal role see it depends whether on whether colors have a pivotal role in your life uh, ah. like for example <laughs> very good answer uh, bang on <laughs> in my case yes i'm uh, really amazed by colors it's god's gift i feel 
uh, that we have uh, so many colors in light so we'll pass through all of them it's not possible to oversee any color so in the same way poetry is all is also like that uh, we a poet passes through several colors and it it is during this journey that different kinds of poems come out uh, you uh, like to you see shakespeare shakespeare has written on all aspects of life He's written oh, yes. humor. He's oh, written yes. tragedy. He, he has written comedy. Uh, all genres. <laughs> yeah. So uh, <laughs> color do play a very important role. And today I happen to be in white, which is uh, a combination <laughs> of all colors. <laughs> all colors spectrum. Bilkul sahi kaha apne. Because on Independence Day, on Independence Day, all of us wear white. and you know white has all the shades in it white has all the colors in it and you know it's it's probably the most beautiful color but on this note i remembered your poem butterfly you know so can you just you know pick it up from you know splinters of broken mirror because you've uh, you know uh, related it so beautifully to uh, objectification of women especially you know a woman needs to be a butterfly and you know discover a color discover her wings because everyone looks at you know she says that everyone looks at you know the butterfly and its pretty color it's flamboyant colors but you know very few uh, people actually look at the wings of the butterfly and uh, you know butterflies also uh, play a significant role in a poet's life because butterfly you know it's it reminds you of rainbows and um, it is multi hued uh, it is so beautiful have you found that poem neelam didi have you come yes, to butterfly yes, <laughs> oh, lovely yes, i'm looking please. forward <laughs> could you please read it for us could you plum the viewers will be very happy please read it for us okay it's a very small poem mm -hmm. a butterfly woman let them keep looking at your bodily beauty the luminous mm -hmm. color of your skin the pretty patterns on your wings your magnificent gait while you fly you should concentrate only upon your wings and their innate strength one day you shall have touched the sky and that's what a butterfly woman is meant to do <laughs> <laughs> lovely another you know poem dedicated to women uh, so beautiful because butterfly and its you know wings i think we it's high time that we look at the wings of the butterfly and uh, another poem um i needs to remain padlocked in one of her poems she says i the word the pronoun i needs to remain padlocked because whenever uh, people achieve something with every accomplishment i have done it this i me mine it is so powerful to them this i the personal pronoun do you think neelam didi this poem will help people you know shed their inflated egos because you ask them to uh, you know keep this i under a padlock it, it needs to be locked only then uh, you can overcome what one calls narcissism there is narcissism alert everywhere <laughs> narcissism <laughs> alert you know just uh, like uh, we were discussing a few moments ago the moment mm -hmm. you think you are somebody above everything you cage yourself you build walls and the moment you build walls you can't uh, churn of beautiful poems or stories or whatever it is All good right. friends and maybe good neighbors yes <laughs> 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 yeah. so i feel uh, we sh we are learners all through the life i still call myself a learner and we are uh, all we uh, all if you uh, if you have that openness of mind and heart you learn more you know more and then only you can create uh, better things otherwise uh, they will be dull monochrome and uh, yes. people will get bored because uh, i feel that despite writing so many books i have something new to say every time Each that's time. why people yes. read it yes otherwise Absolutely. people will stop reading so <laughs> uh, that i has to be padlock 
Yes, I has to be padlocked. And, you know, again, as I said, uh, every line that you write is so powerful. And each poem, forget about you, you. You're talking about every book. I would say every poem has something new to give. Each poem has something new to give. And, uh, you know, this particular line, you know, can be used even as a one liner uh, because, you know, uh, we use uh, Shakespeare all the time. You know, all that glitters is not gold, etc., etc. We quote Shakespeare all the time after so many years he wrote in 16th century even in 21st century we find it so relevant and i think you know your poems are also never going to be periodic because you know you are uh, your poems have a universal appeal i would say so this particular line i'm going to repeat i need to remain padlocked i think it's going to help you uh, keep yourself grounded because uh, I've uh, realized one thing, Neelam Didi, it's very difficult for certain people to handle success. Being successful is probably simple, but handling success is very difficult. So what do you have to say about this? How have you handled you know, your success? I don't call myself successful and that's the best way of ending it. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Your 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 answer reminds me of Isaac Newton. You just mentioned his name, you know, some time ago. Isaac Newton, the scientist. After writing his theory of gravitation, when someone asked him, oh, my God, you know, the entire world is going to, you know, follow this theory. How do you feel, you know, Mr. Newton? And his answer was, my knowledge is just like a drop in the ocean. You know, the entire, you know, ocean of knowledge is right in front of me and I'm just a drop in it. And I think if a man of Isaac Newton's caliber says that, I think it's high time that we need to, you know, we, we shed our egos and it's high time that we set the wheels in motion. And this is what our country also needs to do. This I, me, mine. If that goes, we will Not uh, probably country. progress. Mm -hmm. The world, Not only the world. country, the whole world, the entire world needs to world. know that uh, we yes. have to shed our egos because yes. that is the biggest, you know, uh, hurdle Enemy. in our growth. Yes. Correct. Bilkul sahi kaha apne. Now, splinters of a broken mirror. Aapko aisa lag raha hoga, itni saari kitabe likhe hai, 61 kitabe likhe hai, but you know, Purnima ma'am is constantly, you know, placing an emphasis on splinters of a broken mirror. So, mera next question aisa hoga, dil kaach ke hote hai kya? Kya aapko lagta hai, dil kaach ka hota hai, toot jata hai? Kyu dil tootta hai? Why, you know, why do we have so many broken hearts? <laughs> आप भी टूटते हैं पर जब आईना टूटता है आपको लगता है की आईना टूट गया परंतु अगर आईने के हर टुकड़े में देखे तो आपको रोशनी नजर आएगी और जो एक जैपनीज आर्ट है आप जानती ही होंगी कि जिसमें फ्लावर पार्ट पॉट अगर टूट जाता है तो उसको गोल्डन पाउडर से जोड़ दिया जाता है और वो पहले से भी सुंदर दिखता है तो ये कुछ उस तरह का को रिलेशन है इसमें आ, बुक में कि हम टूटेंगे पर जुड़ना भी हमारा स्वभाव है तो स्वभाव नहीं है स्वाभाविक है ये कहना चाहिए मुझे तो जुड़ना स्वाभाविक है तो उसको वापस जोड़ने की कोशिश करिए ना कि हरदम टूटे रहिए बिखरे रहिए चॉइस तो रहती है जब आईना टूट जाता है दो दो चॉइस है हमारे पास एक तो उसको बिखरा रहने दें और रोते रहें कि बिखर गया बिखर गया बिखर गया और दूसरी चॉइस होती है उसको वो गोल्डन पाउडर से जोड़ ले और उसके हर हिस्से की जो रोशनी है उसको मल्टीप्लाई होते हुए देखें तो कुछ ऐसे ही मल्टीप्लाई होना चाहिए ऐसा मेरा मानना है और यही विचार मैं सब तक पहुंचाना चाहती हूँ बहुत ही खूबसूरत बात कही नीलम दीदी ने आज देखिए ये पैंडेमिक के दौरान काफी लोग टूट चुके हैं और काफी लोगों का संसार ये बिखर चुका है लेकिन ये सवर भी सकता है सो एज शी सेड यू नो दैट शार्ड ऑफ ग्लास और स्प्लिंटर 
can you know can give you that you know positive uh, energy can give you that inner strength usme ek aap positivity dhoondne ki koshish zarur kijiye kyunki jo hua what is done cannot be undone लेकिन उसके बाद जैसे नेक चांद सैनी मुझे अभी उनका उनकी याद आ गई चंडीगढ़ में बहुत ही खूबसूरत उन्होंने गार्डन बनाया है रॉक गार्डन विच इज मेड अप ऑफ यू नो ब्रोकन क्रॉकरी ब्रोकन ग्लास स्प्लिंटर्स ऑफ ब्रोकन मिरर आप जो कहे वो उन्होंने सारी टूटी हुई चीजों से नेक नेक चांद सैनी जी ने पूरा एक गार्डन आपको बना के दे दिया सो आई थिंक वी कैन ऑल्सो बहुत खूबसूरत है नीला मेरे क्या आपने वो गार्डन देखा है वो आने का मन ही नहीं करता है मैं गई थी तो मुझे तो वहां निकलने का मन ही नहीं कर रहा था बिल्कुल और वही खासियत होती है कि आदमी कभी ना कभी तो टूटेगा आदमी है तो टूटेगा ही परंतु टूटने के बाद बिखरना नहीं है फिर से जुड़ के और उससे बेहतरीन बनना है बहुत ही खूबसूरत मैसेज दिया है आज इंडिपेंडेंस डे के अवसर पर वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग द प्लेटिनम जुबली इंडिपेंडेंस डे एंड वी गॉट सच अ ब्यूटीफुल मैसेज फ्रॉम नीलम दीदी नीलम दी आई थिंक यू हैव रिटन अ वेरी पावरफुल हिंदी पोम ऑन यू नो इंडिया ऑन आर मदरलैंड क्या आपके पास में वो किताब है आसपास क्या आप हमें कुछ सुना सकती हैं कुछ पंक्तियां आपके पास में वो किताब है जिसमें आपने एक बहुत ही पावरफुल मैसेज दिया हुआ है अपने कंट्री के लिए and you know it's uh, uh, for our motherland it's uh, meant for the land of our birth kya aap hame sunayengi wo kavita likhi to kai sari hain ek bade sada lafzon mein likhi hui kavita main sunana chahungi iska shishak hai afsana maine rakha hai ulfat is afsane ka naam iske rag rag mein basa hai desh ka paigham मैंने रखा है उल्फत इस अफसाने का नाम इसके रग रग में बसा है देश का पैगाम ये अफसाना शुरू होता है दिलों के प्यार से या रंज और देश का नहीं कोई काम ये अफसाना शुरू होता है दिलों के प्यार से या रंज और द्वेश का नहीं है कोई काम मेरा एक एक देशवासी प्रेम का तहा सागर है हर दिल में बसा है ईशु अल्लाह और राम क्या बात कोई भेदभाव नहीं कोई भेदभाव धर्म जात का यहाँ घर घर में बसे हैं स्नेह के धाम होते हैं कुछ मतभेद और लड़ाइया भी यहाँ जब जीतने लगता है मोहब्बत से शैतान पर है हम में वो हिम्मत और ताकत कि हरा दे होते नहीं हम नाहक हैरान परेशान मेरे देश को और मेरे देशवासियों को करती हूँ मैं शत शत प्रणाम और सलाम जो देते रहे हैं सदियों से और आगे भी देते रहेंगे उल्फत के ये प्यार भरे पैगाम वाह क्या बात है क्या बात है बहुत ही पावरफुल मेरे तो रोंगटे खड़े हो गए गेटिंग यू नो गुस बम्प्स क्योंकि कुछ कुछ लाइंस ऐसी हैं जो हम बार बार सुनना चाहेंगे जो कोई कोई गाने ऐसे होते हैं ना एक बार एक बार सुन के मन नहीं भरता वैसी ही ये कविता है जितने बार सुनी जाए आपको प्रेरणा देती जाएगी एक लास्ट uh, सेक्शन uh, हमारा एक फन सेक्शन होता है नीलम दीदी एंड ये फन सेक्शन में यू नो लेट्स टेक अप दिस जॉनर आई थिंक आवर व्यूअर्स हैव नेवर सीन यू लाइक दिस यू नो सटायर आई थिंक जॉन ड्राइडन डिस्क्राइब इट एज यू नो अमेंडमेंट ऑफ वाइसेस बाय करेक्शन यू नो ही डेलिबरेटली वी पोएट्स डेलिबरेटली क्रिटिसाइज द सोसाइटी इन ऑर्डर टू करेक्ट इट कभी कभी वो व्यंग लेके आते हैं अपनी कविताओं में और ये जो सटायर है ये भी इसकी भी खूबसूरती कुछ अलग ही होती है यू नो जिस ड्राइडन पोप यू नो दे ऑल रोथ सटायर एंड यू नो पीपल थॉट ये तो पीरियड यो देखे ये कुछ टिकेगा नहीं बट स्टिल वी रिमेंबर यू नो रेप ऑफ द लॉक एंड हाउ यू नो बेलिंडाज हेयर वाज चॉप्ड ऑफ बाय द लॉर्ड एंड तो एक कुछ हंसी मजाक हमारे यू नो व्यूअर्स के लिए हो जाए तो हम ये दिखाना चाहते हैं कि जब पहली बार अभी भी कुछ परिवार में ये दिखाई का जो मुंह दिखाई की रस्म होती है उसको बहुत ज्यादा मतलब महत्व दिया जाता है तो चलिए हम भी अपने अंदाज में हमारे व्यूअर्स को दिखाएं कि ये मुंह दिखाई होती क्या है तो मैं लड़का बन जाती हूं और आप मतलब लड़की बन जाइए क्या आपको ये सिचुएशन मतलब मंजूर है <laughs> क्या आपको लड़का बनना ठीक है 
ठीक है कोशिश मैं व्यूअर्स को बता दू मैं व्यूअर्स को बता दू कि हम आपकी नीलम जी बहुत अच्छी बहुत ही उम्दा कलाकारा है बहुत यू नो उम्दा एक्ट्रेस है और आज हम आपको उसकी भी झलक दिखाने वाले हैं रेड कार्पेट स्टोरीज पर ओके <laughs> तो चलिए हो जाए रोहित रोहित ओबरॉय आई थिंक आप यू नो मुंबई के कोई फाइव स्टार होटल के बहुत बड़े मालिक हैं ऐसा भी सुना है कि आप मतलब डिस्कोटेक जाते हैं पब जाते हैं शराब पीते हैं और मतलब मुझे मुझे डर लग रहा है ये मीटिंग में क्योंकि मैं तो गांव से आई हूं मुझे ये डेट वेट का चक्कर कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा है अरे डेट क्या होता है डेट तो तारीख होती है जानी आज की तारीख तुम हर दम याद रखोगी आज हमसे जो मिल रही हो अरे आप अब कहा लेके जाने वाले मुझे मैंने मुझे ये नाच गाना मुझे कुछ नहीं आता ये सब ये 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 सब गाने ये आप कैसे बेहुदा गाने सुनते हैं मैंने कभी नहीं सुने ये सब चल क्या रहा है ये पब क्या होता है चाची कह रही थी कि चाची ने कहा कि एक बार लड़के से मिल लो पर मिलना तो अलग होता है परिवार के साथ क्यों नहीं मिलते आप ये कहा लेके आ गए हमें अरे क्या जब हम हनीमून पे जाएंगे तभी परिवार को लेके चलोगी यू नो यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड मी अंडरस्टैंड मुझे नहीं समझोगी तो हमारी जिंदगी कैसे चलेगी यू नो ऐसे तो मेरी कई गर्ल फ्रेंड्स है यू नो मारिया जूली अनिता बहुत बहुत सारी गर्ल फ्रेंड्स है मेरी पर फिर भी मैंने तुमसे मिलने का यू नो एग्री किया क्योंकि मेरे परिवार वालों को तुम पसंद आई बड़े बदतमीज हो आप क्या शादी के बाद भी ये सब आप आप रंगरेलिया मनाने वाले हो शादी के बाद भी ये सब करने वाले हो ये मुझे नहीं चलेगा ये हमें मंजूर नहीं है ये हमें बिल्कुल मंजूर नहीं है ये क्या बात हो गई शादी आप ऐसी मतलब सवेरे जब कंचन लड़की से करेंगे और गुलछर रे बाकियों के साथ में मनाएंगे ये हमें नहीं चलेगा बोल तो ऐसे रही हो जैसे कभी तुम्हारे कोई बॉयफ्रेंड रहे ही नहीं है बॉयफ्रेंड क्या कहा आपने हमने हमने स्कूल में किसी लड़के से बात तक नहीं की और आप हमें लड़के तो थे बात करो लड़के थे पर हमने उन्हें वो नजर से नहीं देखा हमने उन्हें वो नजर से नहीं नजरों से देखा कौन सी नजरों से देखा जरा उन नजरों से हमें भी देखो देखो रोहित नजरें तो मिलती है हजारों से हर एक नजर का मतलब प्यार नहीं होता समझे ना तुम हमको कौन सी नजरों से देखोगी जरा वो तो बताओ आहा, आहा, क्या बात है इस बात पे तो सीटिया हो जाए अरे तुम रो रही हो तुम रोने लगी अरे नहीं सुनो सुनो अरे ओ मेरी चंपा चंपा कली मे, मेरी ना कोई गर्लफ्रेंड नहीं है कोई मारिया नहीं है कोई जुलिया नहीं है और कोई भी गर्लफ्रेंड नहीं है मेरी यानी थी बट अभी नहीं है और जो है ना मैं तुम्हारी सादगी पे मर मिटा हूं और ना आज तो इतना पवित्र दिन है यू नो तो मैंने सोचा कि अपनी जिंदगी एक नए सिरे से शुरू करूं और हम दोनों एक खूबसूरत जिंदगी साथ में बिताए मैं तुमसे कान पकड़ के वादा करता हूं कि मैं कभी किसी की तरफ उन नजरों से नहीं देखूंगा अब तो बोलो मंजूर है ना बिल्कुल बिल्कुल मंजूर है और आपको आपने मुझे मेरा मेरा नाम नहीं पूछा मेरा नाम सरस्वती है मुझे पढ़ाएंगे ना मुझे आगे मुंबई में पढ़ाएंगे ना मुझे मुझे एडमिशन लेनी है मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी में आप मुझे एनकरेज करेंगे ना मुझे पढ़ाएंगे ना मुझे आगे, आगे पढ़ना है बाकी लड़कियों की तरह बिल्कुल इसीलिए मैं तुमसे शादी करना चाहता हूँ कि मैं सारी दुनिया को दिखाना चाहता हूँ 
कि स्वतंत्रता सिर्फ नाम की नहीं होती इसे झंडा फहराने से स्वतंत्रता नहीं मिलती स्वतंत्रता हर लड़की की और हर लड़के की जिंदगी में होनी चाहिए और तुम आगे बढ़ो खूब पढ़ो बस हाँ एक शर्त है जी पूछो क्या शर्त है कभी उन नजरों से कभी उन नजरों से किसी और लड़के को मत देखना जिस तरह तुम मुझे देख रही थी हरगिज <laughs> नहीं हरगिज नहीं ऐसा तो ऐसा तो सपने में भी हम सोच नहीं सकते हाँ बहुत अच्छा लगा आपसे मिलके शादी तो आप ही से करेंगे और किसी ने किसी ने कहा है शादी एक मोती चूर का लड्डू है खाओ तो पछताओ ना खाओ तो भी पछताओ तो हम पछताने के लिए तैयार है <laughs> तुम तो बहुत ही स्मार्ट हो वो जूली और वो मारिया से भी ज्यादा स्मार्ट हो चलो मम्मी पापा को बता दे <laughs> जी 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 बिल्कुल 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 यस एंड थ्रू दिस एक्ट थ्रू आर सटाया वी यू नो ट्राई टू शो टू द वर्ल्ड एंड यू नो ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस डे लेट अस एम्पावर आवर वुमेन लेट अस एम्पावर द गर्ल्स एंड लेट अस ब्रेक द स्टीरियो टाइप Let us break the stereotype. Yeah. Only we can do it. Yes. बहुत अच्छा लगा जब आपसे बात करके नीलम दीदी बहुत मजा आया बहुत कुछ सुनने को मिला and you know you've been such a delight. Thank you for you know coming on Red Carpet Stories today and you know I extend my heartfelt gratitude and I don't think I can thank you enough. Uh, ये no, साल no, no, you can't thank me because you called me your soul sister. So how can you thank your soul sister? प्यार वाला थैंक यू चलो वर्चुअल वर्चुअल टिल वी मीट अगेन तो चलिए व्यूअर्स के लिए बस एक इंडिपेंडेंस डे के लिए गाने से एंड करना चाहूंगी ये देश है वीर जवानों का अलमेलों का मस्तानों का मेरे देश का यारो हो मेरे देश का यारो क्या कहना ये देश है दुनिया का गहना यहाँ चौड़ी छाती वीरों की यहाँ भोली शक्लें हीरों की यहाँ गाते हैं रांझे हो यहाँ गाते हैं रांझे मस्ती में मस्ती झूमे हर बस्ती में I think we lost Yusuf Khan, the Lip Kumar Saab, one of the most phenomenal actors of our country. हम उनको भी आज हम उन्हें एक ट्रिब्यूट देना चाहते थे वो भी हमने रेड कार्पेट स्टोरीज पे आज कर दिया मेरे व्यूअर्स को और मेरे गेस्ट को मेरा प्यार भरा नमस्कार अगले संडे फिर लेके आएंगे आपके गेस्ट को रेड कार्पेट स्टोरीज पे नमस्कार नमस्कार <laughs>